So we're going to have Youngster have Joey against Joey Saginus. Saginus. Luke Duke against Fuji. The winner of the, the loser of this set will play Felix, and then the loser of Overlux Thick will play Crescendo. Oh wow, Toad player just gets through that uh, <clears throat> that slew of down tilts with the crown armor. So game one on Smashville here. I can't say I know too much about this particular matchup, but I do know that um, in theory, K rule should be a decent choice against Ken, because K. Rool doesn't die until very late percentages, and Ken is uh, notorious for being able to secure stocks very early with his combos. Yeah, for sure, especially so that heavy toad, toad player gets the edge guard, a drop down fastball fair, but uh, in the process he actually dies for it. In the bottom blast zone, he wasn't able to recover in time. Yeah, that's one of the things you gotta be careful, is that yeah. K. Rool's, uh moves are pretty late in the end. He's doing a really good job so far. He's holding stage control. And he seems very willing to go out and edge guard Ken. He, he ran off with the fair, he ran off with the down air earlier in the game and just ran off with the nair that time. Mm -hmm. That's one of the things that Ken has to be careful with, is sometimes his recovery oh, is pretty limited. Excellent combo coming in from Pongo. He gets that up air. Whoa, what was that? <laughs> that was a whole bunch of uh, shenanigans going on there. But yeah, really nice combo from Pongo. He gets the Nair into the up air, into the down air to secure Toad Player's second stock. Oh, jeez, that was. I'm not even gonna. I'm not even gonna try to explain what happened after that, though. I'll have to take a look at the replay. I just saw him yeah, go down exactly. and I was like, what? <laughs> one of the things. Pongo that, uh... at 172, one grab away from dying. Up tilt, sour spot up tilt's not gonna kill. But that down tilt, catching Pongo jumping in, is going to kill. And 61% is not a huge deal. Yeah, for sure. He's doing a really good job at keeping uh, Pongo a out of his... Preemptive. Uh... That's going to kill. Down tilt into short use. He was a little bit preemptive on a conversion that he went for. And then once that conversion whiffed, he spot dodged, and Pongo was able to get all of that ending string off of that. Maybe a little bit of nerves coming in, or it was a panic defensive option because his strategy did not work. Nonetheless, Pongo takes game one uh, fairly comfortably with some explosive plays from both sides. Ken Shoryu is so stupid. Why is he killed so early? Yeah, yeah it's very, very, very strong. Toad did a really good job of keeping uh, Pongo out for most of the match. One of the things that Ken kind of struggled with is that if he can't get in, he can't get any of his stuff working. So, uh, yeah, for sure. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. I don't think we'll see a character switch. Uh, <clears throat> I mean, we could end up, we could end up seeing. Uh, uh, it'd be interesting to see uh, if Toad Player does take a couple of games. It'd be neat to see Pongo possibly switch to Ryu because I feel like Ryu, with the power of the Shakunetsu Hadoken, yeah. could camp K roll out a bit better. Ken kind of has to approach. Yeah, for sure. Much of the time. And with Toad Player playing a character like K. Rule, I feel like he'd be more than willing, based on the capabilities of his character, to sit back and let Ken do much of the work. Yeah. Okay, he gets a little blunderbuss conversion. He doesn't have his crown. We'll see Pongo pick that up and try to use it. Yeah, Pongo already showing some uh, some custom combos there. Wow, K. Rule Nair is so safe on shield. He was able to... Uh, he was able to land with Nair and then actually get a grab because Pongo was too slow with an out of shield option. Yeah. So we have tied percents right now, 61 apiece. And I like this counter pick from Toad Player. Mm -hmm. FD gives him space. And there's nowhere for Ken to hide. Uh, yeah, there's no platform. From all the projectiles, yeah. There's nowhere for him to hide from the projectile trajectories. A little bit of delay right there. 
seems like it's uh, stabilized again. Bongo is his precision, his, te his technical precision, despite the uh, the delays on Wi-Fi that we always complain about and, yeah, all, and, I, and that always exist. I can man, definitely admit to that. <laughs> oh my goodness. That was a bit of a rough moment there. Brief delay, but... Hopefully we don't have any. We'd hopefully we don't have any more issues like that. It's been fine all day, remarkably enough. Yeah, for sure. Haven't had any complaints yet. What a combo coming in from Pongo there. That was a flurry of attacks, and then he catches the double jump with the back air. Pongo is here to play. God, that heavy shore you still ridiculous every time I look at it. Even if it doesn't kill, it's just like, oh god, that thing almost killed the heavy. Yeah, yeah. It's, uh, it's, uh, Ken very much benefited from all the times that it was buffed early in the game. Oh god, yeah. Okay, nice landing back air. I think Pongo dropped shield a bit early. Oh, wow, he catches the down air, actually trades with the Shoryu. And Pongo now Toad Player is right back in this. Pongo definitely does like going for those parries. That was a good back air. Uh, Toad players jump back to the stage. And yeah, we're seeing both players have these random spurts of ex of uh, explosive play that are leading into deletion of stocks very quickly. Yeah. Uh, good job with Pongo getting that uh, second game. Uh, Toad players going to have to figure out a situation. Because uh, Pongo has no problem with just staying back and just letting things go until he sees his opportunity to go in. <clears throat> yeah, he's yeah. playing very, very patiently. Very, very patiently. Mm -hmm. And we have, <laughs> we, have <laughs> we have all of SK all in the chat right now cheering for Pongo. Oh, of course. Oh, of course. They're boy to win. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, if I were, if I were not, if I were not intentionally trying to be an unbiased commentator, I'd be doing the same oh, thing. Sure. You better believe me. Yeah, I had that problem when I was commentating one of Niji's matches in the old circuit. <laughs> oh, yeah. I was like, I gotta be careful, I'm not biased here. But, uh, yeah, going sure. to game three, uh, let's see if Toad can fix anything up. Because I think Pongo does have the download. See if, uh, I think what we're, mostly, what we're mostly seeing here is just a bit of matchup inexperience on Toad Player's part. What a conversion. That, all of that was so good. I can do so much damage. Why? Man, <clears throat> if Pongo keeps playing like this, then there's a very good chance we'll be seeing him in grand finals. What can he do off of this? Okay, he actually reads the rollback and gets the pair. I would have done a run off down air there, just for just for this flag. So yeah, Toad player is in a lot of trouble here. He's been uh, he's been running through Manitoba today but he may have finally met his match in one of sk's finest attendees here today for sure yeah yeah he can't get anything going pongo just keeps trapping him in the corner he has no problems like you want to throw out these projectiles oh that was a good one wow wow moment of delay there but both players make it back okay that's one of the things that uh, Pong was really good at. Probably got experience for me is that I like to throw a projectile, so he has no problem just waiting it out until you make yeah. a mistake. Yeah. He's going to kill. Light up tilt into jab into Shoryu. And Pong was one stock away from getting a, from getting into winter semis relatively unchallenged so far today. Has he dropped a game? Since? I believe he dropped one game in pools. But Dang. I can't be certain. Uh, yeah, he dropped one against the Sphere, who played, uh, Sonic. Yeah. Yeah. So... I see. Yeah, like even... Yeah. I'm even noticing Toad players getting caught by these upbeats that are poking above the stage. Yeah, that's one thing. Normally, it doesn't careful. take too much matchup experience to figure out to, how to space around it or just shield. And so I feel like Toad player just maybe lacking the matchup experience necessary to defeat a Ken of this caliber. Amazing sure. conversion there. He doesn't uh, make it back from that, but, you know, I think at this point, it's just, it's just a formality. Pongo has a massive lead, and with that, he armors through the crown and gets the shore you can kill. 
3 over Pongo over Toad Player 64. Good job to both players. Uh, Toad is going to have to make a loser run of the century. Mm -hmm. And we got Pongo versus Feral in Winter Semis coming up soon.